dude, what is this pimple and, and how is it exactly in the middle of my face? Okay, now that I guess I'm into helping people, I actually wanted to answer some of the questions I get all the time. And right after, what brushes are you using, man, which I already covered, is what tablet should I buy? And listen, I so wish I was one of those cool YouTubers that has been sent a tablet and I'm just sitting here trying to convince you how cool it is. But yeah, I don't, I don't really have any sponsors. I don't know what it is exactly. Maybe it's the fact that I have only seven listeners or maybe it's my shitty attitude or maybe it's both. Whatever it is, I just wanted to do this video just so I can burn even more bridges with companies. But hey, I just want you to know that if, if somebody pays me money, I'm ready to say whatever you want me to say. You know, I'm, I'm like a good actor for the right amount of money. And by the way, you better send me some real money and not just your shitty product. I'm, I'm really good at this. Anyway, I got here two of the most popular choices for digital painting tablets. The iPad Pro and the Wacom Intuos Pro. I don't know why they always gotta put Pro in the end, like, I get it, you're not a noob, you can play, okay. By the way, I know the big Wacom Cintiqs are popular as well, but come on, $2,000? Is that really an option for you? Yeah, I thought so myself. But before you buy a tablet, you should decide, do you want it to have a screen so you can paint directly on the tablet or do you want to have like an actual computer and a desk and a monitor and a keyboard and a mouse and kill yourself? And I know a lot of people prefer the direct screen tablet, but I don't really get it. Maybe because I started with digital painting first and then I got into traditional. So I didn't even know what a pencil is before I was like, you know, 17. And then when I finally got into traditional drawing, I, I was like, what, what is this goofy shit and why is my hand standing in the way of me drawing? I just want to draw like a normal person. You know, like my hand is down there drawing and then I'm just looking in the complete opposite direction like a normal goddamn person. And I also know a lot of people prefer the direct screens because you can bring them with you and draw in like cafes, but come on. You know you don't have any friends. You're not going anywhere. You're staying at home, so you might as well have a real graphics tablet. But anyway, I guess it's more of a personal choice. I think if you're a designer and you're more into simple styles, then the direct screen is for you because it's more natural. But if you want to do bigger illustrations, more rendering, more details, nah. I mean, I guess I've seen artists do great at both, but just generally speaking, I feel like the one that you're not looking at is more professional and better for painting. But you know, Ross draws actually paints on a Cintiq, and as you know, he's a god, so what the fuck do I know? But let's talk about these two tablets specifically. First, we got the iPad Pro 2017. Not that there's actually any difference in the models throughout the years. You know they're just making a new tablet every year just so they can take your money. Like, oh, it's a new year, you better buy the same tablet with a different button. I actually bought this just for painting because I saw all these Instagram artists with their iPads and I was like, shit, I can't just fall behind and be like, man, all these fucking kids nowadays with their iPads. And I've actually never had an Apple product before, but I can assure you, it, it definitely increased my swag by at least 10 points. Like I started drinking Starbucks and telling everybody to go vegan. I, I don't know what happened. And don't get me wrong, it's a great tablet. I just don't think it was exactly meant for painting. You know, it's great for watching porn, I mean movies, but painting though, nah. And you know what I was really disappointed with? Like I ordered the iPad and I was like, man, I'ma finally be cool. And I waited for it for like a month. It comes, I open it and it doesn't have a pen. Like what am I supposed to do, fucking finger paint? Turns out you need to buy that eye pen, eye pencil, eye stylus separately. Like not only did I spend a thousand bucks on your tablet, but now you want me to spend a hundred bucks on a fucking pen? You're lucky you got me into Starbucks because otherwise I'd really regret my decision. But hey, I can't lie though, that screen is just... <sighs> like those colors are just phenomenal. Like you've never seen porn with better colors. Okay, next we have the Wacom Intuos Pro. And actually the Wacom company follows me on Instagram and they sent me a message and they were really nice and they love my work. But did they pay me money though? Actually, I was perfectly happy with my first tablet, Wacom Bamboo Play and Touch, until it magically stopped working after five years. But to his defense, I was using it 12 hours a day, every day, and I don't think any tablet is meant for that amount. And by the way, who the fuck names their tablet Bamboo Play and Touch? Dude, that sounds like a softcore porn with pandas. Bamboo Play and Touch. 
So I had to switch to a more professional version into a Pro. But what I had missed is that in those five years, Wacom had kind of become more sort of kind of greedy. Like they just want you to buy more shit from them. Like those nips get used way too fast. Dude, that's why I change those nips more regularly than I change my underwear. And I change my underwear pretty often, like once a month. And I don't have money to change my nips every month. And by the way, don't even get me started on the fucking surface. If you paint anywhere regularly as I do, you have this bold spot in the middle of your tablet. Like, why does my tablet have to look like a 40 year old truck driver? I don't, I don't get it. And yeah, I know there's like surface protectors that you can put on top, but I want the real deal. Like I want to feel it raw. Like I can barely use condoms in my sexual life. I don't need a fucking condom on my fucking tablet. But I promise I'm a Wacom fan though, I am. I wouldn't be using their product for fucking years otherwise. You're just listening to bubbled up frustrations from years of experience. And the biggest of those frustrations is those fucking buttons on the side of the tablet. Let me tell you a secret Wacom, nobody uses those fucking buttons. And if they do, they're fucking stupid. Like I don't need your five goddamn buttons when I have a whole keyboard in front of me. Yeah Angel, but what are you gonna do if you don't have a keyboard? Well then you can't even use the keyboard shortcut, so five buttons will not be enough anyway. Like how about you just worry about something a little bit more important, like I don't know, the, the surface of the tablet not looking like the rock's head. Dude, I'm really getting worked up over these buttons. You know what Wacom, you should probably not listen to me considering I'm a psycho and I also don't really do any real research. Anyway, point of this video is, I don't even know what the point is. Your tablet doesn't matter. Don't overthink it. You can start out with anything. Go on eBay, search for graphics tablet and go with something cheap just so you can experiment if this is for you. But whatever you do, you need a tablet to paint digitally. I swear, if I catch any one of your motherfuckers paint with your mouse, I'm gonna break all your fingers. Actually, that sounded kind of cruel, but... But hey, as I said, it's all about your skill. It's not about the tablet. And what better way to improve your skill than my Patreon? I know, that was a smooth transition. If you wanna support me and you wanna get better with your art, check me out on Patreon, man. I do live streams, critiques, tutorials, patreon.com slash angel And since you realize tablets don't even matter, the purpose of this whole video was fucking pointless. Cause it's all about your skill. I'm just kidding. It's all about your brushes. Also, I just wanted to mention that I reserve my right to take any of the words that I said in this video back if I'm motivated by the right source. And by source, I mean money. Okay.